everyone. My name is Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss and I'm coming from to you from the beautiful, um, let's see, northeastern Utah area. I'm in a beautiful place called Little Hole here um, off Green River by Flaming Gorge Dam. Um, I decided to uh, go with my family on a little vacation and um, while my family's out hiking around, they'll probably come back here in a little bit. I'm taking a minute to do a little art. This is what I do while they hike around. Uh, my chronic pain doesn't let me keep up with those boys, so I get to sit and do some art. And today what I want to do is put together a, a sketch pad that I can carry around with me. Um, I always carry my art with me. And this sketch pad is my favorite currently that I carry with me. It's by Canson and it's a mixed media pad. You can pick these up at almost any craft store now. And with your coupon, you can usually spend around four or five bucks is all to get this pad. And you can use um, almost any media you want with it. Um, currently, I carry gel pens with me and my Sharpies with me. Um, to do my art. Here comes my little rose. You might hear her barking and growling. Anyway, so this is a fresh brand new pad that I want to get together to carry with me. And um, But I, I hate carrying such a plain pad around. I think it's kind of ugly. So I'm going to make it pretty. I went to the dollar store and picked up this really cute roll of duct tape for just a dollar. I'm going to use it to um, make the cover look a little more fun but more essentially I'm going to attach today this um, pencil case that I picked up um, I buy these every year when it's back to school time for just a dollar so um, next time it's back to school hit your stores and see if you can find these they have a really nice clear plastic front hi Rose <laughs> oh you're gonna help are you they have a really nice clear plastic front, so they make my favorite um, pencil case. And then, of course, they zipper up rather than snap, and so they make my very favorite pencil case. And I'm going to attach this pencil case to my sketch pad so that wherever I go, I've got it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rose is visiting some neighboring picnickers here <laughs> that you can hear. So I'm going to show you how I attach this and carry all my tools and what tools I carry with me. So let's get started. Um, so all you need is your sketch pad, a pencil case, and some duct tape. Um, so I'm going to start out by covering the front cover with the duct tape. And that's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to take pieces like this and go across the front with it and cover it. So I'm gonna hit fast forward to spare you the tedium of this. I'm not gonna worry about covering the back of it because this would be a good um, surface that I can test pens on or I can doodle on. And so uh, I'm just gonna cover the front, but you know, I'll probably curl the edges around so I'll show you that. So I'll just go ahead and hit fast forward and cover it and show you how it looks when this part is done. Okay, so I've got the front covered and I'm just going to do the last bit. Um, these edges really take a beating when you dump it in your purse and you're dragging it around and stuff. Um, well, you know, you don't drag it around, but you get my gist here. So um, I'm just going to kind of fold this up and bring it over. And I picked this up at the dollar store, I think it was around Easter time just for this, because I knew my sketch pad was going to be um, almost done. I go through these sketch pads. They go with me everywhere, doctor's appointments, church. Um, they just slide right into my purse. So yeah, I kind of have a big purse because I carry my art everywhere. And this roll had, let's see, it says 15 feet on it and it's 1.89 inches wide. So we'll see how far it takes me on this project. But it was such a happy pattern and I couldn't believe I could get 
this whole row for just a, a dollar at the dollar store. Okay, way big improvement. How cute is that? That's going to make me so happy every time I pull out my art. Okay, so now we're going to shift to attaching the pencil case to the back. So my idea is, last time I did this, I made a strap out of the duct tape that came across the front and held it flat and closed, which was really great. And I made little duct tape loops that held the pencils. And that was great, except that I went from carrying only pencils to carrying full set of gel pens and, and everything. And so soon my needs increased and I had to carry all kinds of stuff. And so that's why we're going to graduate with this sketch pad <laughs> to a full pencil case. So what we're going to do is duct tape this to the back cover, which is again a really nice heavy cardboard backing. That's why I like this sketch pad so much for the money. You just I just can't beat it. I haven't found a better deal yet. So what I'm going to do is with my cute duct tape, I want to tape it on just like this. And look at that, it's almost exactly the right width. So it's going to be perfect. And I want to duct tape it right to the edge. So I'm gonna put a lay a piece of duct tape right here first. Oh. You can't beat duct tape for its stickiness, but man, is it a pain to work with. So I'm gonna kind of pull a long piece out like this. Hopefully my picnic table here isn't too dirty for this part. Ooh, pretty bird. I hope you can hear some of these birds that are around me. It's July, and today the weather, last night the, a wind storm swept through here, and so today the weather is a lot cooler, and it's perfect for me. I have heat intolerance, so it's perfect for me today, and the birds are out and happy. Okay, so I think it's in frame. Is it in frame? <laughs> You can see I have this piece of duct tape stuck to the back here. And I'm gonna take my pencil case and lay this right on top. I hope you can see that. And press it really good. Duct tape does have its limits. So we're gonna really press that down. <laughs> Okay, now I'm hoping this little three ring binder hole is going to help us get this duct tape to stick. So we're gonna bring this over the top. Like that. And with one of my pens here, I'm gonna really press down into that three ring binder hole and kind of get that duct tape to kiss each other there to make that seal as good as possible. Pull that duct tape out a little farther. And overlap it. I remember when I was a little girl, our cars always seemed to be breaking down and I thought my dad could fix anything with duct tape. It seemed like no matter what happened to our cars, from my perspective, he was always pulling out a roll of duct tape and fixing it. And so every time I use duct tape now, in any part of my life, I have to smile and I think of my father, my awesome dad, and how when I was a little girl, I thought he could fix and do anything with duct tape. So I love using duct tape. Okay, I'm gonna give this a tug and we'll see how we did. It looks so cute. This just makes me smile. Art should always make you smile, right? Okay, give it a tug. Ooh, it's perfect. 
Look at that. Okay, so now the idea is you can close it and bring this up and over the top, just like that. That makes me so happy. Look at that. Okay, now we just are gonna create a closure that's gonna hold this flat against your book with a wee bit of another one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, which is a Velcro or loop and hook fastener, if you don't wanna use the name brand. These do happen to be the, I bought these, they're Velcro brands, so I guess I can say Velcro. Okay, so we're gonna, again, use the duct tape for that. And the way I did this last time, whoops, I don't want this to blow away and create litter, so I'm gonna tuck this down here. The way I did this last time was I pulled out a huge piece. Let's see if I can do this in the breeze. <laughs> and without getting a fly in it. Okay, so we want enough tape here that it's going to attach itself with stickiness to here, but then be loose against here. It doesn't need to stick on here. I'll show you. It's going to be more um, easy to understand once you see the grand scheme here. So I'm thinking at least double my length here. Maybe so you can always cut off more, but it's hard to put more on. Wonder if you can see Rose running around in the background. Last year when we took her on this on the trip, she. Didn't do very good in the car this year. She's doing really good. So it's been really fun. Okay, here we go. So now I'm gonna fold this over, but I want to leave some of the tape exposed. Just like this, easy, easy. Maybe about that much of the tape exposed. Line it up as best as you can. There. You can hear our neighbors in the background. There are a couple of cute little girls and family over there. This little whole place is where the river rafters get out. And they fly fish. I think this is one of the most famous fly fishing locations in the world, or well, at least in the country. Okay, so I folded it back on itself to create that pretty loop. Got this nice long strap with the sticky on one end now. I'm gonna flip it over and right in the center, as straight as I can, this way. Stick that down really good. Turn this whole thing over and we have this loose now, just like that. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, now when we bring it up and over, it can attach itself here with the Velcro. And we have a little extra, like I said, we can always cut that off. So I'm not worried about the extra. Now my Velcro came with um, this little cleaning pad. It's, I think it's just a little alcohol pad, so I'm sure you could clean it with whatever, but I thought for sure I better bring this along on this little trip because I knew I'd be putting this together on a dirty picnic table. <laughs> okay. So let's line it up. I'm gonna want my Velcro right here. So I'm gonna clean right there. That'll dry really fast out here in this nice fresh air. And then I'm just gonna clean kind of this whole area because I'm not sure exactly where that Velcro will end up. Oh, 
I'm so excited to have a new sketch pad to take with me. I use this to take notes. So if I attend a meeting, I can take notes with it. Um, when I have my kids with me, I'll even, we'll play drawing games in it. So they'll ask, can I draw? So we'll draw together or I'll tear out a page. They have perforations, so I'll tear out a page, let them draw on it, and then when I get home, I take the page back in with um, some decorative tape, like some washi tape. I'm just lining it up and kind of deciding where I want the Velcro. Okay, I'm gonna put the fuzzy side down. So I have the two loops two pieces together, they're just round, and these are the pre-glued kind. And kind of peeking to see which side is the fuzzy. Okay, this is the fuzzy side. So I'm gonna remove the, the backing on that. Oh, it's being stubborn, which I guess is a good thing. Anyway, so if I take out a page in this book, I'll go home and I'll tape it back in so it kind of becomes a journal of all the places this sketch pad has been. Okay, so I'm lining this up to make sure it's, oh you know, as straight as it can be. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is art. Okay. And I'm going to lay it down on the book side, right where I want it. Just like that. And then you want to press and hold and count to 30, so I'm going to hit fast forward. Okay, that was 30 seconds. I found that's really important to do because we want this Velcro to last a really long time. So it's worth your 30 seconds there. I can see a piece of the duct tape I didn't press down good. There we go. Okay, now before I do this last part, um, it's, I wanna make sure I'm leaving enough room here because my pencil case is going to be pretty full. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of the stuff I'm gonna to carry to kind of bulk it up so I can judge where to put this last piece of Velcro. So in my pencil case, I carry um, a drawing pencil with a really good eraser on the end, a couple Sharpies of different sizes. I've got a fine point and an ultra fine point. I've got a Statler tripless fine liner that I'm carrying around lately. Um, I've got a cute little ruler, which I don't use very often for this kind of sketching, but once in a while I wish I had a ruler, so I just throw in a cheap little ruler that, again, I pick up during um, back to school shopping. These are like a dime, you know, so that's the time to shop for this kind of thing. And then I have a whole bunch of gel pens. This is a set I picked up in the scrapbook section of my store. And I believe this is a Elmer's brand set that I've been playing around with to see if I like. So that's gonna go with me so I can keep playing with that. And then I also picked up, oh, I also have here um, one of my favorite things to carry around, which are three by five cards that I use to test my pens on and do that tapping technique to get your pens to go. If you want to learn more about how I use my gel pens, check out, I have a gel pen tutorial video on my YouTube channel. So check that out and you can see how I um, take care of my gel pens and use these three by five cards. And then I also have a little set of Faber-Castell polychromo pencils, pencil crayons or colored pencils, depends on how you say it, that I haven't tried out yet. I'm a Prismacolor girl, so I picked up a 12 set and I am going to experiment with these and see how I like them. So that's gonna sneak into this very full bag. Yeah, I kinda carry a lot of art stuff. <laughs> and then I also carry around with me one of my Bliss Breather mini coloring books. This is volume one. It's available as a free download on my website, coloringpagesbliss.com. So come and check it out. I have a, let's see, just one page, or do I have two? I have two pages colored in here already. 
Um, and these are really fun little uh, quick breather. If I just have 10 or 15 minutes to color, I'll pull, pull this out and color in it. This is a really great thing to have. So if I'm not in the mood to draw, and I don't want to think, I just want to take a breather and color for a minute. That's what this cute little mini coloring book is for. There's four volumes, so come to my website and check that out. And that can tuck right in here as well. And all of this will zip up into here, and I can see it all because it has the clear opening on my pencil case. I love these. And then, because of the way we sort of hinged this, I can bring it up and over. Look how handy. I'm so excited. Okay, now we can accurately judge where on this strip I want to do the final attachment of the Velcro. So I'm just going to remove, I hope you can see this, I hope I'm in frame. I'm going to remove that final piece of plastic, the, um, Okay, we'll do it this way. Remove the final piece of plastic, and I just put the loop part. Come on. Yeah. Put it right back on top of the part that we've already secured on the book, so you know it's going to line up. Bring this around. Line it up. Give it just a little slack in case someday you decide, you know, I thought I'd bring more things with me. <laughs> and touch it down. Press and hold, and go ahead and count to 30 again, and I'll hit fast forward. Okay, that was my 30 seconds. Look how cute. Okay, now we're gonna cut off the excess. I think I'm gonna do a cute little triangle cut on here. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, let's do this simply, people. Bring this around and cut a cute little triangle. Secure it back down. There you have it. Let's get out there and do some art. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and come and visit me on my website, coloringpagesbliss.com. And I hope you have a blissful and colorful and beautiful day. Thank you.